what you all in the media have been able to receive and release from a video standpoint is just a fraction of what this entire incident looked like. Now at 602, the Broward County Sheriff fires back after a teenager's family becomes the latest to accuse a deputy of excessive force. This is the third time in a month we've seen a BSO deputy in a questionable situation. Sheriff Gregory Tony says if excessive force was used, there will be punishment, but he says in this case, his deputy did everything right. CBS 4's Rial Crane is live at BSO headquarters with more. Rial, good morning. Good morning, Mary Bell and Lauren. This is a young student athlete who was taken to the ground, left bleeding, his face cut in the process, all of this by a BSO deputy. Well, the sheriff is now saying that the video that was released by the family does not tell the whole story, and he is standing by his deputy. Video of a BSO deputy on top of a student, Blanche Ely High School, February 21st. Was it another rough BSO incident? The attorney for student Jordan Bennett says yes. Her client had resolved a verbal altercation. As he was walking away, a Broward County Sheriff's officer came up and viciously took him to the ground, hitting his head against the hard concrete of the cafeteria floor. The Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony says despite the video, the facts are different. His answer to whether there will be an internal investigation. The answer is no. This is not going to be an internal affairs investigation. And here's why. What you all in the media have been able to receive and release from a video standpoint is just a fraction of what this entire incident looked like. In the officer's report, he says Bennett had placed his hands around the neck of a school board employee and choked him. He was irate and angry. He aggressively pulled his arms away, flailing wildly out of my control. Actions caused me to grab him and take him to the ground. He hit his head on the floor of the cafeteria, resulting in a laceration and bleeding on the left side of his face. Sheriff Tony says school surveillance video and body camera video backs up the officer. Bennett's mother disagrees. It's a disturbing video just to see my child there being choked out. Um, sad to say my daughter saw the whole thing and at one point she saw him being choked and his tongue was hanging out his mouth. And the allegations that were made today by Mr. Bennett's attorney are not consistent and they're not accurate with what video footage shows. We got Bennett's mother's reaction again to Sheriff Tony late Monday night. I'm sorry, I can't make any statements right now. I have to speak with my attorney about the issue. Okay, are you disappointed at all? Um, no, not at all. Not at all, I knew this was gonna happen. Well, the story continues to develop. According to BSO, Bennett was released to his mother immediately after the incident. We're live in Fort Lauderdale, Rail Creighton, CBS 4 this morning.